Welcome our dear students to this video tutorial. This video tutorial is about the virtual microscopy and high resolution images library of the Faculty of Medicine in Shams University. The Faculty of Medicine is providing a free access to all its students to a virtual microscopy and high resolution images library. This library provides you with an interactive and enjoyable learning experience. You can access this platform anytime, anywhere, and on all devices. It will also be integrated as a resource in your Moodle. First step, type in the search bar of your browser ain-shams.smartzoom.com A-I-N-S-H-A-M-S dot S-M-A-R-T-Z-O-O-M dot com Then click on sign up. In the sign up form, fill in your name and your official email address. Your official email address is at med.asu.edu.eg and please, if you don't have it, refer to the IT unit in your faculty. Any other email address other than your faculty email address will not be accepted. Then, in another window, open your email inbox. Check your email for your received password, then return to the sign-in form and enter your official email address and paste the password you received. Now your account is ready and you have just logged in the platform. As you can see on the top right, you will find two flags one for the German language and one for the English language. If you have appearing German language, then please click on the English language flag. Now you can see there are different icons for the different categories. Slides and high resolution images are categorized according to the year or the subject or undergraduate or postgraduate. And on the top, you will find home, quiz, settings, or logout. In order to navigate, click on the desired category. For example, we will click on the general module of histology for the first year undergraduate. Now you can see all the slides included in this module presented by their name and by their stain, which is H&E in most of the slides. Now I, I chose this slide to navigate and to inspect. The virtual microscopy application enables you to inspect a slide as if you are sitting on front of a microscope. So you can zoom in to the highest power under the microscope and zoom out also to the lowest power in the microscope. You can zoom in and out by using this plus or minus buttons by clicking on them or by using the touchpad or by using the scroll of the mouse. As you can see, you will find a lot of annotations in the form of shapes shaded like this one and pins like this one. When I click on any one of them, a box will, ab will appear containing the title and an explanation or a detailed stru structure of this uh, annotation. Also, when you zoom in in the slide to a certain magnification, you can move the slide as if you are moving the uh, stage of the microscope by pressing on the slide and when the plus sign appear you can move it left or to right or up or down as desired this little box on the bottom right is a mini map that shows you uh, your position exactly on the slide 
On the left, you will find three boxes. The first one is for annotations. It is a list of all the annotations listed on the slide. By clicking on any of them, it will direct you to the annotation on its proper magnification. The second one is for information. And the third one is for more images from the same category. If the annotations are, are blocking uh, the visibility of the structures, you can click on text on or off to remove the annotations, the shape annotation specially, and to see the structure which is covered by this shape. Now let's go through the features that we can use as users in this platform. By clicking on Actions button on the top, you will find a drop-down list of all the features that you can use as a user in this platform. First one is Navigate. Navigation was what we were doing by zooming in and out and moving the slide and uh, reading the annotations. The second feature is My Notebook. My Notebook is a site where you can type in all your notes according to your studying and to save them to look at them later when you open the same slide again. The second one is placing your own annotations. You can now put your own annotations according to your studying uh, and no one will see it except you. You can place a pen or place a shape. Place a polygon shape annotation and you can single click on around the area you want to shade and by double clicking it you will close this shape and a box will appear also that you can type in the title and description of this area. And any step you take, don't ever forget to save. And after adding all your annotations, you will find them all saved in your notebook. And in your notebook, you can edit or delete annotations one by one. The fourth feature is asking questions. Return to actions and then click on write a question to a teacher. Then click on OK. And then you can place a pen or a shape annotation in order to ask about a certain structure or a certain area. This question will be sent immediately to the administrators and annotators specialized in this subject. And a reply will be sent to you as soon as possible. The last feature is that you can follow the slide and any update on the annotations will be sent to you. In the search bar, if you typed in any keyword, it will bring you a list of the slides and annotations that includes this keyword. In the top bar, you will find the settings button in which you can change your password. Also in the top bar, you will find a quiz button that enables you to test yourself in any of the given categories. When you click on quiz, a list of all available categories will appear. Click on one or multiple categories that you want to test yourself in. In the bottom left, you will find the total number of slides that you are about to take quiz on. In the bottom center, you will click on Start Quiz. The slides of the quiz will appear with no annotations or any information given.
In the bottom, you will find a list of multiple choices that you can choose any of them as an answer of the identification of the given slide. Choose the identification and click on answer. Then a message will appear that states if this answer is right or wrong. When you answer the slide, the slide will appear with all its annotations and information given. Then you should click on Next. After finishing the quiz, a message will appear including the total slides you uh, were uh, examined on and the total correct ones and the wrong ones. You can always click on Home and return to the given categories. This is an example of high resolution images of anatomy. It also may be given in uh, microscopic pathology or radiology. Now we will shift on Moodle. If you don't have a Moodle account or you can't access it, please seek assistance from the IT unit in your faculty. In Moodle, you will find all your given courses and materials. In this example, this is the introduction to histology. You will find the different topics that you study. In this example, this is the epithelium. Beneath the topic, you will find different subtitles. One of these subtitles will be virtual slides or high resolution images. These will include the list of all the required slides or high resolution images from you to study as a self-directed learning. Each slide will also contain information about the particular structures that you are required to focus on in this slide. When you click on the link of the slide, it will open directly without signing in. A new pop-up or a window were open containing the slide in a viewer mode. You can always make it full screen for a better view. The slide will appear with all its annotations. In the viewer mode, you can always zoom in and zoom out simulating the microscope. Also, you can move the slide as you wish. This eye sign is the information which includes the title and the stain of the slide. Also, you can remove the text or keep the text if it's blocking your visibility of the structures. You can also rotate the slide for better view of certain structures. The eLearning Center wishes you good luck and a bright and prosperous future. For any inquiries, please refer to the eLearning Center in your faculty or send an email on e-learning at med.asu.edu.eg I was with you, Dr. Dalia Youssef, Assistant Lecturer of Histology and Cell Biology.